Chester's May meeting will kick off week four then, and the Chester Cup will be the opening race of the day. It's a two and a quarter mile race. It's a 0 to 110 handicap, and the top one is Broken Promise, who was a winner last week for Ryan Tamasebi. Prometheus for Leon van Rensburg, Kuiping East for Vinnie Gerard, Tigava for Graham Clutterbuck, Gold Match and Arrival for Satya Libra, Eddie, David Robertson, Huntress Martin Leadham, Nubo, Darren Thompson, Everlast, Joshua Sutherland, Colville Slayer, Graham Clutterbuck, Lady Pyrene, Jim Murray, Windfile Ollie, David Hooley, Epic Amigo, for Alex Ince, Riley Evardiles, Thomas Rogers, Arizona Wainwright, David Hooley, Nick Takita Namika, Alex Cherry, Port Merion Woodfire for James Shea, and Stella Brilliant for Obi One. So 18 of them then, all installed. And away they go. Don't want to get caught too wide here. Libra Eddie and the Jim Murray horse Lady Pyrene are going to have to try and get themselves in a little bit. So too is the Obi One horse Stella Brilliant. But Tigava, who was already drawn over on the inside, has got to that rail and has got the spot that everybody wants and is in the lead in the Chester Cup. So Tigava then is going to come up past the winning post with two complete circuits of the Chester track to go. And leads by a good fall into already. Lady Pyrene has done a really good job to get in from that outside berth and has got right into the inside. Libra Eddie hasn't done anywhere near as well, and neither does Stella Brilliant. And those two are still wide and they're going to lose significant ground on the outside. But it's Tigava who's clearing the lead by about five lengths to Lady Pyrene in second. Broken Promises third. Everlast on the inside is also going well. Epic Amigo is up there as well in that chasing pack towards the back to Keaton Namika may have got the rail but has also got back spot Libra Eddie is rolling around a little bit trying to look for the best path through and he looks like he's going to try and pick his way through the whole lot of them but it's Tigava who's clearing the lead by about five lengths to Lady Pyrene in the black and the red in second then the Joshua Sutherland black and red hoops is Everlaster on the rail in between those two Ryan Tanner his broken promise and then just tucked in behind them Epic Amigo in the green sleeves a little bit of a gap then of about a length and a half to uh, Windfall Olives on the inside. The grey Huntress is there with another one of the greys as well. That's gold match and arrival. The green jacketed Kai Ping East is also nicely placed. Wider on the track is Prometheus for Leon van Rensburg looking towards the back. Stella Brilliant is now the back marker. Libra Eddie has got to the rail but has got to the rail a lot further back in the pack than the jockey or the trainer would have liked. But it's Tigava who's clearing the lead then. Ten furlongs still to go and Tigava is in the lead. And clear by three to Lady Pyrene in second, and then Broken Promise and Everlast, then Epic Amigo, then Kuiping East is after that one. Arizona Wainwright is getting closer with Stablemate Windfire Ollie, and Huntress is trapped in the middle of that pack, and Prometheus is on the outside of them as they come up past the winning post, then with another circuit still to go. And it's Tigava who is in the lead and is going to be hoping to pass this post first three times on the trot. Broken Promise is second, and Lady Pyrene is third. Epic Amigo is four, and Everlast is five. And then Arizona Wayne Rotten, Kuiping East, and then Nubo and Prometheus, and then Windfall Ollie and Gold Match and Arrival, Colville Slayer, Huntress is dropping back. Libra Eddy is now switched to the outside after going across to the inside, so that one's running all, all sorts of different parts of the field. But Tigava is still in front, but only by about a neck now. Two Broken Promise in second, and Lady Pyrene third. Epic Amigo going well in fourth, and then comes Everlast, and then Arizona Wayne Rotten, Nubo's getting into it as well. Then Libra Eddy, who's trying to creep round the outside, it'll be an absolute stellar performance that one can win Stella Brilliant meanwhile is last and it's Tigava in the lead from Broken Promise second Epic Amigo running an epic race in third trapped on the rail is Lady Pyrene now going to be looking for racing room Libra Eddie is getting closer around the outside coming through with Prometheus Everlast is still there as well but they've still not got past Tigava Tigava's still in the lead with Epic Amigo Nubo looking a big danger Lady Pyrene if he can get some room here comes the grey gold match and arrival sweeping back up into the lead again now it's Tigava and gold match and arrival gold match and arrival's back in front here comes Prometheus look at Epic Amigo Nubo Libra Libra Eddie is throwing down a big challenge. It's a wide open race for the Chester Cup as they begin the swing towards home with a little more than two furlongs to go. And it's Prometheus and Libra Eddie. Libra Eddie's already run a f about a furlong further than everybody else. But it's Prometheus on the inside. Libra Eddie on the outside. Then Epic Amigo. And then Nubo. Prometheus and Libra Eddie coming down towards the final furlong. It's a head bomb between these two. Prometheus on the rail. Libra Eddie closest to us. Prometheus is about a head up. Libra Eddie's fighting back. Prometheus and Libra Eddie's then flash up towards the line. Prometheus just in front. Libra Eddie second. Prometheus is going to take the chest. Prometheus wins it. Libra Eddie second. Kuiping East is third. And then Nubo gold match and arrival running on again at the end. Huntress was last. 
and Prometheus may well have won it, but Libra Eddie has run an absolute astounding race to get that close after being drawn wide on the track and then going on the outside, the inside, back on the outside again. A pretty good performance there. So Prometheus wins it for Leon van Rensburg. Libra Eddie loses nothing in defeat for David Rawson in second. Kuiping East of Eddie Gerard was third. Nubo for Darren Thompson was fourth. And Everlast for Joshua Sutherland was fifth. And that was a pretty exciting way to start off week four.